and saying hello today on a sunny but very, very chilly October 11th, 2009 with Jamie Kent from Grand Experiences right here on the Grand River. We're on a Zodiac right now and heading south on the Grand River and we're already in Brantford. And Jamie was telling me something very, very interesting. Number one, you're a certified True Colors coach? Yes. Okay, what is that? The True Colors is a character uh, assessment tool or personality tool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and it teaches you how to understand people's personalities and characteristics mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, also learning more about yourself uh -huh. your own, uh, and, and it helps you identify where your weak strengths and weaknesses are mm -hmm. what motivates you what you motivates you mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's great for, team yes. for understanding other people because Based on someone's behavior, mm -hmm. you can predict what their character is. Mm -hmm. Once you know what their character is, their personality is, then you'll know what what they really like, mm -hmm. what they don't like, how they're going to respond in different situations, mm -hmm. what they're good at, mm -hmm. and uh, and how they view things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so it's, it's a great tool to get people to work together. Right, exactly. But there was something else that was very interesting. You work with uh, with psychiatric patients. Yeah, we mm -hmm. work with. A Psychiatric patients. Uh, the group is called Going Beyond mm -hmm. at St. Joseph's Hospital. Oh yeah. And um, and uh, Jeff fellow named Jeff Wadham. And uh, and it's they we take uh, psychiatric patients out on excursions such as going down the river in our Voyager canoes, mm -hmm. war canoes. And we take them out and it helps get them into the outdoors and we'll go camping with them mm -hmm. and different trips and they get a, a better sense of life. Uh huh. And it may help them become. More adjusted to life outside mm -hmm. the, uh, the healthcare system, mm -hmm. and you know, it's I guess in some cases I think if you had some fellows that returned to work. Really, so it really has helped them actually sort of readjust. Yeah. Being in the outdoors, having adventures, mm -hmm. you know, going beyond is such a great title for the program. It is. Yeah. It, it actually makes perfect sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. So actually, I was saying to you before when we were heading down the river here and it was so still and quiet and peaceful. I said it's really therapeutic. It is. Very rejuvenating. Yeah, and actually it is used for ther for actual psychiatric therapeutic purposes. Yep. I did not realize that. That's wonderful. Let me give you a little look down the river now. Uh, yeah, what is this? Do I see some... Uh, is this a trailer park or yeah, something? Yeah, this is Grand Conservation Area. Oh, so this is already Grand Conservation Area. Yeah, Grand, Con Grand mm -hmm. Conservation Area. Now. Mm -hmm. This is our location in Brantford. And it's along the river. It's mm -hmm. hard to believe you're in Brantford here. You oh, no kidding. You, you would never know. Like, Brantford is about, what, 90,000 people yep. in the town? Yep. You'd never realize that you're in town. Exactly. And it's it's really neat. And this so this is a, a campground here. Mm-hmm. Um, so campground, yeah, lots of trailers up there in that yep. direction. Very interesting. So how far is the camp from here roughly? Well, we're just about a five minute paddle. Okay. We're not far away. The conservation areas are quite a large conservation. It sounds like it, yeah. yeah. So it take us take us about half an hour to paddle around the perimeter uh, the, on just on the riverside. Really? Yeah. So it's quite uh, quite large, and I just wanted to comment one more time on the footbridge up here. You can see it in the distance here, and you were explaining something. Uh, it connects um, well the two sides, the east and the west side of the river, yep. and there's trail systems on both sides. On the east side of the river is part of the Trans Canada Trail, uh -huh. and the rail trails that would uh, come from Cambridge through Paris, mm -hmm. Bradford, and then down to Ancaster mm -hmm. and up to uh, to Burlington. So it's part of the Trans Canada Trail on that side. On this side, on the um, west side, is the conservation area. So mm -hmm. people doing the trail can actually go to the conservation and camp for the night. Or right. There's also a, a fantastic system of trails in Brantford, mm -hmm. much of them on the west side of the river that the footbridge would connect mm -hmm. the Trans Canada Trail. Mm -hmm. Brantford has a really well developed system of trails. Burford Road. I see a road sign up there. That's all a sense of humor. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's right. Burford. They have a great sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's from Burford. Okay, excellent. That's great. So, yeah, it's obviously, yeah, there's a trailer up there in that direction. Yeah, permanent. Permanent? Are these permanent? Well, there would be, uh, they'd have to leave in the late fall another week next week because of the flooding uh, potential. Uh huh. Okay. So when the river uh, thaws yeah, out, pick it up. Yeah. yeah they, so next week actually is the last week they can be. They look like they're permanent, don't they? Yeah, they do actually because he's got a nice, uh, nice porch happening yeah. here. Well, see, he would leave the porch there and just hope yeah. the river doesn't take it away. 
Yeah. Now the porch is somebody's private property yeah. in in the campground. Yeah, uh, basically they would yeah. rent the, the site. They would rent the site. And the they season. would get the same site the next year. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? Yeah. We've had our location in the in the conservation since 1999. Okay. Okay. And you also have uh, you can accommodate people overnight yeah, we there. We have campsites, uh, our own campsites, mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. uh, for groups and mm -hmm. well individuals. And we also do you know, picnics, either the family picnic or uh -huh. a picnic, or do that type of thing as well. We do other facilities down there for recreation. Right. Oh, very interesting. What are these plants called here? Are these long grasses, or what are they? There's, there's long, there's both. There's cattails or uh -huh. rushes. Uh -huh. A lot of long grasses. Mm -hmm. This area is really famous for some um, for some prairie remnants, uh, remnants of old historical um, prairie areas. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go. We also do a lot of our lessons, mm -hmm. construction, food and construction here. Here, uh-huh. Yeah, this part of the world got wide mm -hmm. and slow. Mm -hmm. And it's a great place for beginners to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you go. Oh, there's a sign coming up here. Brant Conservation Area right here. So indeed, we are in civilized territory, even though, I mean, the how long have we gone? An hour and a half, maybe, from Paris? Yeah, we were fast today. It's usually about two and a half hours uh -huh. from Paris. Okay. Because we didn't see too much, uh, except for the outskirts, outskirts of Paris, we didn't see too much uh, civilization, basically. It was exactly. all nature. That's great, eh? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Canoe landing ahead. That's, that's what it does. Oh, that's, oh, that's us. Okay, so we're not far away. Great. Let's see if the electric motor oh, works. <laughs> 25 minutes from here. We'll do okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're not going to drop down a big chute or something. Uh, yeah. Okay. The two stage dam, I'd say it's probably be about uh, six, eight feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a little too high. Yeah. Okay. So they have this two stage dam, though, here mm -hmm. so the fish can get over it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, very interesting.